Typically, when I deal with the bounding box, I'm in the setup mode and I'm getting ready to program a part. You know, the stock setup here, bounding box, and I can establish the billet size or, or whatever I need for my stock. Also, if you're in the quoting phase or planning phase, you can go to wireframe bounding box. If you have your, you know, a solid or a two 3D wireframe model, you can use it to maybe establish what size material you're going to be dealing with. And uh, at that point in time, just pick that solid body. And uh, Mastercam's done a pretty good job of just snugging up a piece of material up around the, the body of the, the solid. If you uh, notice, we've got a few more enhancements here in the orientation and uh, in the shape. We've typically had the ability to do a rectangular shape, a cylindrical shape, and they've added a new one, a wrap. Wrap will give you a pretty lean and snug profile. Uh, you know, if you're going to have a part water jetted out or flame cut out of the a near net billet from the material supplier, this is a pretty good or preferred method of, of you know, saving material costs. You can, you can get him roughed out pretty good uh, that way. Also, if you're looking at your, your construction plane method for a rectangle, if you hit auto for their orientation, it'll it'll give you the least or the minimum size billet that it would require um, to manufacture that part out of that size material. Smallest, uh, least amount of material condition right here. In the wrap, you also have a wrap setting here for minimum volume which will give you a 3D, you know, down in the Z now. It's going to trim that up and get rid of the excess material. I guess for forging and casting, maybe quoting the cost of the material. You get pretty close that way, or maybe even the amount of volume, if you're shipping in containers and such, what your part would uh, take up in 3D space. Anyway, that's just a tool. It's there for you to use.